Okay guys, um, this is uh, another one of um, um, these vlogs that I wanted to do and the reason why I wanted to do this one is because um, it's one of my favourite locations where I, I like to go um, and it's it's so hard to beat it because it's such a superb place. Um, what I was going to do is just go through some of the locations I've been in the um, the videos I've I've done there, and it's probably it's why I think I probably started doing my vlogging. Um, when was it? Uh, probably I think it was four years ago. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, four definitely four about four years ago. Um, now, to be honest. Um, and that's another reason why I wanted to do this vlog. So, um, and it's about Snowdonia and North Wales. Um, and for obvious reasons, it pulls you to that place is because the place is so, so picturesque with superb coastlines, fantastic mountain ranges, brilliant waterfalls. Um, so it's got everything and it doesn't matter what the weather's like really, um, even in the when it rains and when it rains it, in Wales it rains. So um, um, and what, what, one of the first vlogs I did, um, I started doing one or two local vlogs just at the local park and I thought I'd quite enjoy this and then I realised with my photography that I wanted to be in the right location at the right time. And then this is where we thought about doing the wild camping side of things. So, um, bought the tent, bought a cheap tent, cheap gear. Yeah, that'll do. And um, literally four years ago, probably around this weekend anyway, we decided to go up to um, Snowdonia. And we ended up at, um, at Snowdon, walking up the pig trail up Snowdon, which at the time, um, not the pig trail, sorry, the miners trail and never been there before and, um, and it was just absolutely fantastic the scenery is absolutely amazing and um, I then with the wild camping side of it the isolation and the photography and all this that and the other that's when I really got up in with the book of, of doing this um, this type of photography um, I do like that isolation, I must admit, I do like the isolation, I like it where I can't hear anybody, can see anybody. Um, and I just think the view is fantastic and we, we used to go, um, as, as a kid, as a teenager, we've, that's where we used to go on all day, all, all around the um, Snowdonia coastline, from Barmouth to Abersock. Um, Port Maddock and all them places. Um, we used to have a speedboat at, um, at uh, Port Maddock and, and we used to go out and we, we used to have one at um, Abbasock where it was moored out on the, the water there on the sea. We used to go water skiing, fishing. Never ever crossed any of these places. Yes, we used to drive through them and think, oh, this is amazing. Even as a kid, I thought, this is, this is just a superb place. So that's probably what drew me towards. Um, Snowdon, Snowdonia, North Wales, Anglesey. Um, so yeah, my first my first video that I did was um, while camping along the the Miners Trail, um, and the sounds are horrendous. We look back at it now; the sounds are horrendous. But the the day was absolutely. What I didn't realise is the day we walked up. It was perfect, not perfect weather for photography, but it was a clear blue day, but we'd got snow-capped mountains. We actually walked up into the snow and then come back down and camped um, on one of the other, the bigger lake at the bottom there. Stopped there the night, got up the next day, drizzle, rain, as it as you expect, come home. Absolutely loved it. So, oh, you know, this is, oh, I could do this every week. But what I did realise was, after the second one, second wild camp I did, which was actually at um, Craigeggan Lakes uh, near Barmouth, 
and um, I think how I found that was just by googling it thinking oh yeah we could get there so we went and visited it and um, we might have visited it I think we, we went there and done a vlog and then we done a wild camp after that um, some while after that I'm sure we did and um, we uh, we wild camped there and it was absolutely freezing and what we realised was, first of all, his gear wasn't good enough um, and it was too heavy, so we needed to spend, get better tent, lightweight tent, um, a better uh, sleeping bag, better backpack, even though the backpack they had wasn't too bad. Um, so sleeping bag, out kit, we ended up with out kit sleeping bag, absolutely superb. Um, had a, a Van Gogh Bashir tent, um, before that was another Van Gogh, which done the job to be honest with you, just a little bit heavy. Um, and I've, and now, now I've got a, an out kit, um, I forgot the name of it now, two man tent, which is great. And like I said in my last vlog, um, that I will be receiving a, a wild camping tent if you like, lightweight tent, two man lightweight tent, which is very similar to the Bashir. Um, from Old Pro, and um, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. So, yes, we went Craig and Lakes. Oh, what a place! You drive up in, in the car park right next to the lake, and there's hardly anybody there. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely superb place. You're in the shadow of Calder Aldris. I'm not sure if I said that right, but that's just me. Um, what a super 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 place um so yeah so we've visited there a few a couple of times tried to visit the place yes we visited it the first time and then we wall camped um uh, it might have even been the next next um looks like a, a year later actually which does surprise me but we wall camped there got some night night photography for the first time i've really done night photography wasn't that good but we've seen the Milky Way which was amazing first time I've seen the Milky Way properly dark skies superb absolutely superb so um, I definitely recommend um, a visit to uh, Craigan Lakes just just a day shoot that's superb absolutely superb um, so then we went to um, um, the Ogwin Valley and Trevan area and uh, another wild camp now this one, we was it was if I was going to remember, it was sort of midsummer, so it was light till ten o'clock at night. We didn't get there till ten o'clock, and it would it was just turning dark. So um, so we rushed, and it was twelve o'clock before we pitched up as tent when we could find a dry patch, um, and we pitched up low down, and uh, oh again just superb. Some more night photography, um, and this is in between visiting Wales a few times um, and just had such a great time now the next trip after that and, and I think that that's place is probably one of my favorites um, it, you can walk five minutes and it's stunning you can walk two hours and it's absolutely stunning from start to finish so walking while camping all that area there is absolutely the waterfalls are superb so um, so now I'm really getting into the wild camp and we've done another wild camp and then um, we heard about the mat loop and things like that so the next project was mat loop let's go the mat loop so we went the mat loop failed absolutely failed didn't see it well we, I went up three days on the trot um, we were stopping in Dolgelly I think it was at the time and we went three days up Saw one plane on the last day and my camera jammed. So, big fail. So, never mind, it is what it is. So, uh, yeah, great. So, we're planning another wild camp and um, thinking of trying to think somewhere drift, different again, North Wales again. And um, we, we, we went along the, the north as the peninsula at the top, don't know what it's called, um, sort of the opposite side to Abersock. And we've come through um, Trevor, Trevor or Trevor, um, however you want to say it, I don't know. And um, 
we just come across it just literally by luck. We, we're, we're following the sat nav, and um, we were just what we're doing, we're going along the, as close to the coast as we can. And if we could see a left turn that takes us right to the beach, if you like, we'd take that turn and we went down this little lane and we actually knocked on the farmer's door and the lady answered says there's only where to park around here and she let us park in the farm literally 100 yards from where we had to walk onto the beach not realizing that if you went around there's actually a car park so but anyway so we stopped there and done um done a night's wild camp there two days one night wild camp there absolutely love that first time i got the drone out I thought, oh no no i might have got the drone out before but um drone footage superb what a place what an absolute stunning place and that's when the the old pier were there so we got some photos of the old pier i believe it's been knocked down now um you couldn't access the pier because it was collapsing but got a lovely sunrise shot the next morning so that was a fantastic another fantastic scene got some night photography not um uh, milky way shots again night photography wild camping sunrise sunset what more can you ask for absolutely loved every second of it it was amazing so we went to travor had an absolutely super 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 time um love absolutely love the wild camping so um where was we next so after that we headed to um uh let's have a look next place was back at um the Trevan area Ogwin Valley and after a bit of research we decided and speaking to people we decided to go to one of the lakes up as you walk towards Trevan from the the main car park um, and it's in the shape of Australia so we'll call it Australia Lake okay so um and uh it was quite an hard walk up because we're carrying some heavy gear and um, my knees ain't the best and it was icy so it was in the this was probably we're talking probably two years ago now um, no three years ago um, I remember it being the rocks were so icy so it was a bit treacherous walking up um, and a little bit windy and what have you but again the skies cleared and um, we got some nice night photography and again this was i'm no no night photographer but um i'd lo love to get into it a lot more but we've got some one or two nice pictures with a tent and the stars and the, um trevan in it so um what a great experience that was that was fantastic again um, um such a great location i think it took us about three quarters of an hour to an hour hard walking up but to be honest with you it was harder coming back down because the rocks were so slippy with all that weight on um it was a little bit tricky let's say a little bit tricky so so yeah we've done that um had a superb time um jets flying by you might as well well they do call it the a5 corridor along there so you, again you can do if you like get the the images of um the aircraft coming by if you're lucky so uh that's another great place for the for the um the raf and the us planes coming by and, and then moving on from that um it was then right let's let's have a look maybe at anglesey so i think by this time i'd got my beloved van by then um so the wild camping um went up a notch and um i always remember going on anglesey as a kid thinking it's, it's a very nice it's in a very great place you know what i mean it's not not got mountains and things like that um how wrong could i be the the coastline and oh the character of the place is just absolutely amazing um i, I compare it to this wales isle of sky it's it's absolutely superb the beaches are fantastic to photograph lighthouses ugh, just superb so you've got plenty of scope um 
so yes we, we ended up at Penmon Lighthouse after doing a bit of research um, thinking can we camp there in in the van and um, weren't 100% sure so we drove there and asked the guy on the toll and I always remember in South I think it was three pound at the time three or five pound he says look if I'm here in the morning it's another five pound so I thought fair enough so um, and that's what we did and it was extremely windy but again what a great place what a great location to go and so easy access um, and then the next one was the fantastic superb Mac Loop and um, I think this was the one yeah I got I got um, a Friday off work and uh, I took the dog up I mean the dog went up shot up I don't know started at seven o'clock in the morning and that was the day when um, the dog ate my coat, which was great. My nice, my nice uh, North Face coat, raincoat, and he'd ate it. It chewed it to bits in the back of the van. It slipped off the chair and it's chewed it to bits. So, yeah, I was pleased about that. Um, but great memories because it was the first time I've seen um, uh, the, some of the jets come through. And, uh, oh, it was um, a tornado, maybe the same one twice, maybe. Um, but got a couple of shots of a tornado and oh, got the Matt Luke bug then. Um, so, Matt Luke bug, bug, we went to another, well, I'd planned on an expedition to go. Um, the, the three of us, um, and, and we, again, we went and done the Matt Loop and, and had a great couple of days. Um, seen some more tornadoes come by and the Yorks um, the next day we went to um, Cad we've been to, I've been to Cad East I've been to Cad West um, after watching a, a vlog uh, by Gary Goff um, who shows you where to go up to Cad East at the time I don't know I'm not sure if you can drive up there now whether the farmer lets you um, so it's more of a bit of respect from from the farmer but um yeah you can park close to caddies rather than walking all the way up and uh so we've done cad west now i prefer cad west anyway to be honest um but that's just me um yeah cad east and then we went to um the next day we went to bulk which is another place where it's up the top of now nah, this is what we used to call it as kids, uh, and I know it's not how you pronounce it, but Dennis Maldry, Dennis Madui, or whatever you want to call it, and that's where the 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 spot is for doing the the map loop there. So, um, and then we got some photos there. We spent the day there, um, and that yeah, the the night from doing the the two, we parked up at. Um, at Dog Alley, done a wild camp in the van, um, and there's a car park there by the old toll road, and we 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 stopped there the night, and it's got toilets and water, and there's a pub 20 yards down the road. So absolute happy days that was. So that was a another good good weekend. So definitely getting the bug for the um, Matt Loop. Um, the next expedition we'd planned, again looking for somewhere else different to go, a nice, a good a walk, you know, um, and a wild camp, was, um, we thought we'd go to Mole Syabod. So we found where we could park, um, me and Andy we went, um, got the better gear now, besides the tent was still the, the old tent at the time. Um, and uh, so we, we walked up to Molsar, but now the worst bit I thought was walking up the road before you get onto the, and then up to like a cottage, I think there's a farm there that you. And it's extremely steep <laughs> for a road. It's extremely steep. It's a walk sort of through and, and round. That part of the walk, the first oh, 20 minutes about killed me. Um, but anyway, after that, it's not too bad. Uh, and prediction for the weather wasn't great. Um, 
predicted I think about 20 mile an hour winds so it weren't a, what we didn't realise is that had changed to 40 50 mile an hour winds but we'd got up to this area where it was the old slate mine and um, so we pitched up there and it was going to rain that night so we pitched up didn't get photos were not good to be honest the adventure was fantastic so we've we've gone to bed three o'clock in the morning got the dog with me he's moved which is unusual and he's come over my side oh, strange i've got a river running through my tent it flooded we was on this plateau and we had pitched about two meters away from this little stream well that little stream is now a river um, and the plateau is flooded and the only two dry bits really was where Andy pitched his tent and half of mine but the other half was in water so three o'clock in the morning we're next to a stream obviously because of the rain that stream is now part of my tent the dog went in with Andy and I've, sl I've slept one side squeezed up one side of the tent and uh, but what a great time what an absolutely fantastic time and a lesson learned now that was the first time I was going to do a two-nighter and because of that we went home early what frustrates me about that one is is the fact that we should have stuck it out because it dried up that day and we could have just dried as gear because my coat was soaking wet my main coat um, because the dog were lying on it that was his mattress if you like he was lying on it coat soaking wet but we would have managed to dry it out so that guts me in a way because um i gave in um and yeah we went home so never mind never never mind but that was a a great story if nothing else on to the next one so what was my next adventure in wales well the next one was i visited wales went popped up to the ogwin valley area again because it like i say it's one of my favorite areas and it's nice and easy to access and what have you and um i went up on my own just as a a day i, I was thinking i might stop the night but i weren't sure and all this that, and the other so i've done a, um a bit of a video in the day around at the the um the all the lakes there and done and one or two areas and then i um i thought let's try and find somewhere else on the way home and i've i'm heading back towards home gone past um betsy coed and then about five miles out of Bet betsy coed um there's a lane and i turned up the lane turn right heading towards Bala, but it's like a single track road now the place i head towards i've, I've got no idea how to pronounce it so i'm not going to even try pronouncing it um oh what a place what a place um my favorite road through wales it goes up over the mountain range and then back down the other side and it, it goes to single track um and you're so isolated um, and then you're heading towards um, where we're Festiniog, around that area. So we've come in from from one side over the mountain range over to the other, and Festiniog. And if you come out, Festiniog's right, Bala's left. So, um, oh, what a place! What a picturesque place! What a great place to take some photos of the van and all this that and the other. And um, I pulled over. I was an absolute chuff to bits drove along another couple of miles come to this little lake with with the car park there and um, I remember doing a bit of photography and um, my camera fell over and it bust my polarizer so a disaster in the end but this place I'm gonna visit again and I have done a few times because it's superb again I do not know the name. I'll have to try and put the, the road name or number up here uh, um, if I can. So I'll try and do that. Uh, but it's 
it's a place where we'll be talking about again very shortly I'm sure of it so where did I go next in Wales right the next place I went we wanted a bit of a uh, bit of coastal photography a bit of seascape so we went um, started sort of drove through Barmouth towards Tallybont and just the other side of Shell Island we pulled up as a little beach there and we spent the day there and it was a super beach absolutely super drone out had a great time lovely lovely time um, should have made more of it really the sunset wasn't great um, but it's certainly a place I'll be revisiting definitely what a super place and then we was due for another wild camp we hadn't done it for a while so uh, while camping back to my favorite road place and we um, we pulled up at this lake that I'd pulled up before and um, we we walked round round the back of the lake and up this this area again an old mining area and we wild camped on this again this plateau and then above the plateau with this rocky mound a um, couple of minutes walk to the top and from the top you can see the coast you can see all the mountain range you can see um, Festiniog you could see the the dam Stewellyn dam oh what a view you turn around the other way and you got a, you basically got a 360 panoramic view um, so you got sunrise sunset oh god blimey what a place what a super super wild camp that was it was really really good um had a fantastic time got some really nice photos should have done better with my photos because the next morning well that night was great the sunset were great should have got better photos i could kick myself because i should have got better photos the next morning um we got up and it was foggy and i've walked up the, this two minutes up from the wild camp you could see you know um and the fog were breaking and I just thought, just if the sun poked through, now nah, it'd be superb. Well, I got the drone up. I got the drone just above the fog, and the, and it was rolling through the top of the this rocky outcrop because we were on the top of this mountain area. And um, definitely should have got some better photos there. Really could kick myself, but the light was absolutely amazing with it hitting the fog and the mist as it was rolling through again should have got better photos should have got better photos kick myself there but still wow what a place what a what a place so now we've really got the bug really got the bug and um having um visited anglesey i thought we, we've got coming back here i love i love penman lighthouse so we've looked around the coast and we found um um, these brickworks and I can't think of the name of the brickworks now and I think they'll probably stop you going down now but um, anyway we got there pulls up in the little lane this little pulling by the lane walk, went to walk down really disappointed there were two tents there like, oh no like you know um, we, we'd planned two nights and I thought we'll be all on us own it'd be great and all this that and the other and there were two tents where I wanted to pitch in the brickwork, these ruin brickworks. And um, so we decided we'd, we'd pitch up on the beach. What a result. What a, what a beach. Just his own little beach. Oh, great. Absolutely superb. And the weather was fantastic. And um, so we got some great images there. And I always remember that was, it would have been midsummer, one of the longest days. So I think that night we went a walk up to, um, well that night or the next night anyway, but that night we went a walk to the top of the mountain looking down on the bay and everything and then you could look over the other side. I went for a scout first and that. And it was, the, the sunset was absolutely superb. So we got some real, real nice photos there. Again, I could probably kick myself for not not getting better ones I don't know um, maybe I think if you knew the location you probably would 
Um, it was more trying to get foregrounds, but the it was so still some stunning photos, like I say, and and because it's that time of the year, the the sunset seemed to last for ages, just last for ages. Which that was something I learned on another vlog that I went somewhere else. There seems to, the red that red you you get even when the sun's gone down it lasts for ages so that that's something to take into consideration but yes great time spent on the beach got the drone out got some nice drone footage my new drone and all this that and the other and and um turquoise sea oh lovely beach spending it in a tent steak at night oh what more do you want absolutely superb um fantastic absolutely fantastic so what did we do next what did we do next the next one in wales was um trevan area again but up the other side now i don't know what the name of the mountain is the other side but seeing one or two images on there it was I, I th again i think it was a friday got a friday off and um i thought i'm going up there ended up going up there the weather weren't good it was drizzle constant drizzle um, so I've walked up the iconic shot where it's looking back at Trevan that everybody gets now. Um, like I say, oh, yeah, pinched it off someone else. You know, you see the location. I thought I've got to go up there and have a crack at that. A nice shot, nothing more than that. But the the um, the conditions were extremely difficult. Um, constant drizzle on my lens and, and it was extremely difficult to get a photo it was literally and out bang and um did get the tripod out i probably got a couple of photos where i managed not to get any rain on the lens and that's about it um but still well worth the visit had a great day there um so again we're we're thinking about new locations new locations where can we go where can we go to well and down after seeing it from the other side i thought that's i want to go there i want to go there and visit there and photograph it so again we look on google and we study where we are yep we could park there probably so we pull up there park there again not a great day um very windy again um pretty overcast but again had a great day there a great morning's photography um and got got the actually got the picture i wanted which i wanted from a i wanted a drone shot i knew what i was going to do when i got there the shot i wanted anything else was really a bonus um and did manage to get the shot in the end even though it was quite wind down what it did drop it would it was quite gusty so in between the gusts i got the drone up got me panoramic shot um had a great day and that that was a day when um, the wind blew Andy's camera over and luckily he didn't bust anything but he was extremely lucky um, so yeah so that was another good location that we went to um, you can see why I'm falling in love with, with North Wales can't you because it, it's great so right next one we're back to my favourite road again back to my favourite place after um, driving through Snowdonia look it, it, it snowed Pretty much everywhere it was snow everywhere roads were good but it snowed everywhere um got some nice photos going up towards um snowden going up that area and then we decided to come back i had to get back that night which i'm gutted now i've got to be back home for six and that uh, was oh, still there at four o'clock so obviously i didn't get back i got back about half past six in the end but we just managed to get, catch the sun setting at my new, my favourite location where I'd wall camped and, and my favourite road, which I'll put up here again somewhere. Um, oh, what a place, what a place to, to get the drone out and get my footage of my van. Oh, this is just, just amazing. But yeah, and uh, if I only had that bit more time, I'd have definitely got some better photos definitely because as the sun were going down went to f22 got the starburst just as it's dropping below the the this ridge line and and then i got this this ice covered lake and the wind had blew the snow over it and made all these lovely patterns and things like that so got a couple of nice images actually taking the photo on the lake just on the edge of the lake i stood with my tripod on the edge of the lake and took some photos so 
it was seriously cold. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then I did actually a, a big, I don't know, a couple of weeks later when all the snow had gone, I did actually visit there again, same place again, another little scouting mission, another good photographic session, absolutely loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, it's a great place all season round. Very, very rarely now, if I go up to North Wales, I don't drive through that road on the way back. It cost me half an hour to drive home, but or an hour even. But it's worth the drive because I absolutely love that road. Um, just to see if there's a photo there and just to scout it for the next time. So then we got a, a tip off from a Mr. Um, Alan Coles, who does a, a lot of blogging and um, loves Wales, obviously a Welsh guy, absolutely loves Wales, loves that, knows every part on it, full of information and um, I think, I'm sure it was him who told me about this next place, now this next place I can't remember where it is as such, I can't remember the name of it so I'm going to have to put it here. And basically it's, you head towards Barmouth along the coast up towards Shell Island and then you turn right up into the mountains and you come to a dead end and that dead end a farmer's put a um, a turn in the field where you turn in you could just pull up in his field put some money in his little cash rock that he's got on the gate there and um, just spend as many nights as you like there and uh, <laughs> That was a great weekend. It was, it was super, so absolutely super. Right next to a lake, right next to a stream. Mountains all around you. Walks, you can walk to the left, walk to the right. Oh, the walks are superb. So we, we, we decided to walk up one side of the mountain. Got some not great images, to be honest with you, because there weren't nothing, the sky was quite, I think I remember right, it was sort of next to clear. You, you know, you get like that almost blue, but it, it's almost, you got that very high cloud, so it wasn't great for photography, but super time. And then we come back down and we walked around the lake that night, and I was struggling for an image. It was such a lovely place. It didn't matter really, but because it was such a nice place, but I was struggling for an image, struggling for an image. And, um, there's this one tree and it it was just sort of it wasn't in the wrong place but there was a there was a fence coming across it that I didn't like. But I, in the end I said, right, I'm gonna take that image. And I'm so glad I did because I love that image. It's a great image. I really, really like that. But I thought the fence would spoil it. Um it sort of divides it. The only good thing is it divides it into the, the, the bottom third of the photo. Um and then you've got the sun setting behind, well the the sunlight as it was catching the clouds and that behind long exposure so i got a bit of a drag in the cloud really liked the photo so I, I did manage to get a couple of photos actually from there um yeah great place what a great place spent um spend a night there a night or two nights i can't remember if it one night two nights now in in the van um again superb absolute so i think we had a steak that night again we, we try to have a steak if we can so obviously really now we've fallen in love with anglesey and i'm thinking oh, i can't not go to anglesey you know it's just absolutely superb um so anglesey spent a couple of nights touring around the the south coast visiting all the you know the iconic places that everybody visit getting the photos looking at the places searching for the next time and, and and educating ourselves on where to go and what to shoot and um from the church in the sea we went there first and uh oh, just some of the beaches are just absolute second to none so um i think i don't i mean i've done actually it was that good I'd actually done four blog, four episodes just on that one place over the, I think we stopped two, I'm sure we stopped two nights, might have even been three. Um, so we, we spent some serious time there. Uh, so yeah, um, Anglesey, absolutely superb, love the place, I, I could go there all the time. Um, 
and just the lighthouses there are superb, the beach is superb. What well, you've looking back at Snowdon, um, you just cannot beat it. You could spend a week there, easy. Um, so next time, when I again um, decided to go up to the Snowdonia area, didn't know where I was going to go, and then I thought, well, I, I need to go to this. Um, this quarry at Lam Lamberis, at um, oh, the quarry at Lamberis. I'll put it there, forget it, it'll come to me in a minute. And uh, so we got up there that night, the night before, thinking I'll get up in the morning, hopefully get the lone tree, which wasn't lone. The amount of people there was, as you can imagine, loads. Um, didn't really, I did go that night and um, met a lovely lady there who, who's an ambassador for uh, Nissi Filters um, and she she actually said to me I think I might might um, might come back later because this was about seven o'clock get up about eleven o'clock at night and come back and see if we can it's supposed to be clear and get some nice night photography at the Lone Tree I thought mm, that's a good idea so that's what we did and um, so half past ten went there and met the lady again there and she's there and we, we've done a bit of photography there and just tr just really trying a bit of um a bit of pano stitching what I, what i did realize there is i took 21 images and i should have of sevens three sets of sevens i should have got another set of seven to get the whole of because i wanted to get the whole of the milky way in above the tree because that's where it was and I failed. I should have gone another uh, that little bit wider. So I've gutted about that, but again, that was a bonus. Um, the Norwich Quarry. It's come to me. There you go. So next morning, gets up, gets up for sunrise, thinking, oh, I've got plenty of time to get to the Lone Tree. There won't be no one there that time. <laughs> At least seven people there, and I'm I'm 100 yards away. I've camped 100 yards away. I can't believe it. Uh, I thought I'd get, at least get the purse there, so good on you, well committed. Um, but managed to get uh, some actually real nice photos that morning, um, considering it didn't look great, but when I got them back I was really, really pleased with the photos. Um, so yeah, it just shows you. And then we went up the Norwich Quarry, done a video. Now, now there I wanted to fly the drone, I, I, I knew I wanted to fly the drone. So I gets up there, gets it on my bag, carries it all, gets to the place, um, gets the drone out, it needs an update, no signal. So I basically carried my drone around for four hours, obviously all with my other gear, and I couldn't get the drone out. I couldn't fly it because it would do an update. I'm like, so if you're taking your drone anywhere, make sure you update it before you take it somewhere where you can't get a signal, because it would not update without a strong signal. I could not believe it. Oh, what a plonker. What an absolute plonker. Um, but, got a nice couple of photos, found one place. I'd got the dog with me, and um, if I went there again, I wouldn't take the dog, uh, for the simple reason is, um, I couldn't get him over the fences, so it was too dangerous for me to take the dog and get him over the fences. So, uh, so I didn't do that. Um, so next time I go there to explore it more, because I didn't realise, because it says danger, don't get over the fence, but everybody does. Um, so next time I go there, I'll have to go without the dog, which is a bit of a gutter, but never mind. So. I'm going to have to run through a couple more of these because there's a fair few. So what we've done. So we went, oh, Barmouth, done Barmouth, Seascape. Oh, what a place for sunset, Barmouth. Oh, well, anywhere across that coast. Um, done a couple of sunsets at Barmouth. Absolutely love Barmouth. We'll, we'll, we'll go in the camper just for a couple of days. It's so easy to get to. It's great. Love the place. Um, then... My daughter decided we want to go, she wanted to walk Mount Snowdon, so again, the night before we stopped at um, near Trevan, in the shadow of Trevan, stopped in the lay by there, stopped the night, went to walk around there that night, Snowdon the next day, done, loved it, the experience, absolutely amazing, we'll be doing it again, 
hopefully with the family this year more of us and I'm definitely going to be doing it again um, but I'll skip past that one even though it's probably my favourite um, and then we, we've we've popped up to um, North Wales again exploring a bit more um, round the back side of Snowdon which I've never been to I can't believe I've never been round there um, I think it's uh, what's the track uh, can't remember. Anyway, so we, we've gone up. Um, uh, did we? Oh no! No, I was doing a shoot for a, a camper van company near me. Took their van up. We spent a couple of nights. One in my favourite location, and then one on the beach at Black Rock Sands. And then we'd done a bit of um, photography around Snowden, and we'd done that. So we'd done that. Oh, found another couple of places had some lovely photos of the van from their van because uh, they hire vans out as well as convert them the campers um, and he'd, he'd like the work we did so we'd, we'd done a bit of a couple of little videos for him so we've done that absolutely love that because oh, didn't realize that well I did realize but because we had to concentrate on the van it just gives you another gives you that interest, that foreground interest, that, that, that little bit of difference or even the van in the background with the sun and all this and the other really enjoyed that um, ought to be doing it with my van a little bit more I think and um, yeah so we found some nice places doing that um, so I thought yeah yeah I've got to visit, got to go again and um, so I went up on my own again, went up there, shot up there one time um, and um, we've never been to never been to uh, Lynn Nettle, um, the lakes there. But before that, I, I wanted to to kill the day, if you like, kill the morning, go there for sunset. And I was there, up up there all day, so um, I went up the um, the Watkin Path, done some photographs there, drone up, things like that. Oh, what a place! Again, if I compare it, I compare it to the ferry pools. On the other sky, um, the actual um, waterfalls are probably, I think, oh, dare I say, it's slightly better. Um, but anyway, what a place! What a super place! So, uh, which I visited again not long after, just after not long ago actually, um, and then went to Linatal, um to the lake there seen a photo of some um, before of a, a, a guy who, who I follow on YouTube um, you want to have looked at him on YouTube it's quite good I'm sure it's van live photography I'll put it up here I'll put a link in it um, yeah seen, seen him go there. I thought, well that's a nice place where's that so obviously found out where it was and I got there and was treated to an app when you get extra like this absolutely superb sunset absolutely superb loved it loved the photos i got extremely happy loved every second of that that was superb um what a place to visit easy to easy access um then this year i've also visited um Talaka Lighthouse, um, or the lighthouse there. Again, absolutely love that. Great. Got there just before, well, probably slightly late actually for sunset. Still got some lovely photos. Stopped there overnight in the van. Next morning, sunrise. What can I say? Loved it, absolutely loved it. Met a couple of photographers there. Um, say hi to you guys. And, um, great place absolutely great place um, and then not quite North Wales went to Elam Valley hopefully for some star photography didn't happen bit going there again though definitely so going back to uh, Watkin Path took the wife up there uh, after visiting Barmouth the day before uh, Barmouth area uh, sorry yeah the day before yeah went to Barmouth area visited the day before stopped there at Dog Alley overnight in an hotel got a treat her. and uh, 
yeah and then we went up to the the waterfalls at Watkin Path and she absolutely loved it um, so we'll be definitely going there again and that is why I absolutely love Wales to bits uh, and I've only scratched the surface I know I have and every time I go I find another great location every time I go I find a great place um, like I say, the, the sunsets you get on that coast a second to nine. And you'll see sunrise and set, you get a lot. You get on a peninsula, you're going to get some superb places. The castles there are superb. Should, should get more of the castles of Crickheath and, and um, that places. So I'll be doing that. Um, the mountains round, the snow, Snowden area. Um, are just out of this world. The only, the only place I've really been, I mean, I would compare it, Lake District is as good. The only place I've probably been better, and the reason why it's better is because it's bigger, is Scotland. Um, it is superb, and I love that place. The people are great. The food is fantastic. Um, but yeah, the roads are great. What more can I say? Well done, Wales. Absolutely well done. You've um, you've kept that place looking good. So right for now. Um, hope you've enjoyed that little insight into my four years of visiting Wales and the photography I've took and that. And it's probably gone on for way too long. Um, so I've got to chop it down a bit. I think. Um, but it's hard not to because it's such a great place. Hopefully you can watch right to the end. If you have, thumbs up, please subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next time, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.